Hello, Super Saver. I hope you're healthy and well. So this past week's 149-day cash management bill, CMB, auctioned off at an investment rate of slightly above 5.2%, almost exactly as we had predicted. And the four-week came in at slightly above 5.7%. Not too bad. Now, I know some of you wanted to get into both of them, but missed the auction dates last week. Well, there's more coming your way this week. So, here's what I'll be covering in today's video. 1. When you can buy this week's cash management and T-bills at auction, plus some expected yields. 2. The three primary differences between cash management bills and T-bills, as well as 3. An extra bonus on Treasury Direct's recent website change. As usual, here's our front of video disclaimer. For a detailed disclaimer, please refer to the end of this video. This table shows this coming week's T-bill and CMB, cash management bill auctions. This column shows you which bill is being auctioned off. This column shows whether the bill is a CMB. A no here means that the bill is a T-bill and a yes means that the bill is a CMB. This 154 day CMB here is a reopening auction of a 26 week T-bill that was auctioned off last month. This column shows the announcement date. The announcement date is a day that you can find the respective bills on your brokerage company's platform. Do keep two things in mind when it comes to the announcement date. The first is that the announcement date is only really applicable when you buy from a brokerage company. If you buy from Treasury Direct, you'll see a long list of bills with different terms, different maturities, even before the announcement date. The second thing to keep in mind is that not all bills will be available for purchase with every brokerage company. This is very much broker dependent. More on this in the next section on T-bills versus cash management bills. But I generally do recommend checking after noon or 1 p.m. Eastern time on the announcement date on your broker's platform to see if the bill you're looking for is available. Don't check too early. The auction date is when the auction will actually take place. I like to place my order with my brokerage companies the day before the auction date to be certain, but I know some super savers who've had luck with placing their orders as late as 9.30 a.m. on auction date with their broker. Here's the issue date, and here is the expected yield from Fidelity at the time of this taping. This yield can and usually does change based on market conditions before the auction date. Also, as I've mentioned in previous videos, Based on our experience, the actual yield at auction is generally higher than this expected yield that Fidelity quotes. For this 154 day CMB, my expectation is that the rate at auction will be similar to this past week's 149 day CMB in the 5.2% range. Both are about five months in terms of maturity and the 5.2% range is in line with where the four month and six month T-bills are trading at currently in the secondary market. The expected yields on Fidelity for these T-bills are not available yet because these T-bills haven't been announced yet at the time of this taping, as you can see from these dates here. If you want more details on these auctions and other upcoming auctions in the future, I've included Treasury Direct's link in the video description below. And for those of you who've asked about what I call the blip yields, the higher than expected yields currently on the four week T-bill, check out last week's video here on why this is happening right now. And for those of you who've reached out about the impact of the looming debt ceiling deadline on June 1st and what the recent inflation numbers mean for your treasury holdings, check out this month's members only videos. You can take a look at our channel page or you can click on the join link in the video description below for more details regarding channel membership. Right, now let's move into the three primary differences between T-bills and cash management bills, including where you can buy them. Cash management bills, CMBs, are basically T-bills. Pricing and interest on CMBs works similarly to that on T-bills. So let's say that you buy a CMB with a face value of $100 and your purchase price for that $100 face value CMB is $95.
If you hold the CMB to maturity, this face value of $100 is what you would get back, meaning that you would have earned $5 interest on the CMB, just like with a T-bill. The three primary differences between T-bills and CMBs are one, CMBs do not follow the regularly scheduled T-bill auction schedule. CMBs were initially designed as a quick, flexible way for the U.S. Treasury to raise extra cash whenever it needed to. They supplemented the regularly scheduled T-bill auctions and enabled the U.S. Treasury to flexibly meet its projected cash requirements for any given period of time. Say, for example, before significant income payments are received or before the government has to pay out a large sum of money to a third party for whatever reason. And even better, the U.S. Treasury can issue CMBs on any business day with very short notice. Compare this to the regular auction schedule that the Treasury has to plan and follow when it issues T-bills, notes, and bonds. Two, CMBs do not have preset terms. So T-bills come in predefined terms, predefined maturities of four week, eight week, 13 week, 17 week, 26 week, and 52 week. Compare that to the CMB that will be auctioned off this week and which is a term of 154 days. Or the other CMBs that were auctioned off earlier this month, the terms of which ranged from 17 days all the way to 149 days. Three, CMBs can only be purchased at auction from select brokers. So based on our own experience and feedback from our Super Saver community, CMBs can typically be purchased at auction from Fidelity and E-Trade. Compare that to T-bills, which can be purchased via Fidelity, E-Trade, Schwab, Vanguard, Merrill, and other leading brokerage companies, as well as from Treasury Direct. So Treasury Direct, this is a great segue into last weekend's big change on their website. It seems most of us on this channel have a love-hate relationship with Treasury Direct, myself included. But whether you love Treasury Direct or hate Treasury Direct, there was one thing most of us could agree on. The virtual keyboard that we had to use to enter our password was from a century-long pass. Well, the virtual keyboard is officially gone. After you enter your account number from the login page and click Submit, here's the page that you'll see now. And every single time you log in from now on, Treasury Direct will use what the industry calls two-factor authentication. A one-time password, OTP, will be sent to your designated email address, which you will then need to enter here. And after you enter your OTP and click Submit, you'll be directed to this password page. And that's where you'll see the other big change. Your password is now case sensitive, unlike before. As far as I can see, these changes bring Treasury Direct a bit more in line with modern industry security standards, but there haven't been any changes to the underlying way Treasury Direct works and the functions it offers. So how about you? Are you happy with this new update or do you miss the virtual keyboard just a little bit like I do? Drop a comment below and let me and the other super savers know. And there you have it folks, this week's T-bill and CMB auctions, some expected yields, and Treasury Direct's latest website update. For those of you who want to take a deeper dive into our latest members only videos, check out our channel page or the join link in the video description below for more details. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video and learned something new, don't forget to share with those you care about. And of course, hit that thumbs up and see you again very soon with more brand new wealth building content for your financial journey.